Welcome to Now This Interview in affiliation with Jewish Scene Magazine. Today's special guest is drummer Haggai, a.k.a. Bonanza the Cat of the band Monotonics. The sound is 70s, 60s magnetic tape, fierce garage rock with no boundaries. Monotonics is from Tel Aviv, Israel, and now they are here on a U.S. tour making their stops cross-country. They are here in Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome in. Yes. Thank you very much. It's great Welcome. to have you here. It's very exciting to be in this place because we feel how music here is like so rooted and, and we're really excited for that. And, to know, and today we were visiting the Iron Studio, uh, Big Star, and it was like a beautiful uh, site. And we're really excited to be here. And you know that uh, David Berman from Silver Juice, he was the first one to uh, bring us here. And he's from uh, Dark City, of course. And uh, uh, he's from Nashville, and uh, we feel like we're coming like to the place where we started. Words used to describe the music is chaos and pandemonium. What would you say is a better description for you guys? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I would suggest that uh, we just like to rock it and to party. Uh, you could even say we would like to party hard. <laughs> what is monotonics? Monotonics is just a name that we think is, uh, sounds good. <laughs> Tell you the truth. <laughs> it does. If you want to take it another step, you can say that a uh, monotonic thing is like a you know a sound that uh, repeats itself until it bores you. So um, yeah, I hope we're not boring. But uh, <laughs> I wouldn't see that word described anywhere. <laughs> uh, where were you when it happened? Is the debut album on Drag City Records? Uh, tell us a bit about this album. Uh, we worked on that album in New Orleans. Uh, we we went there to like you know experience the the vibe there, which is very unique in that city, music and jazz. And then we recorded it in San Francisco uh, in ten days with a producer named Tim Green, which also recorded and produced uh, our previous EP. It was fun, you know, like there are eight tracks, and we're thinking they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that EP is called Body Language, yeah. um, and it's also uh, the title of a song. And the uh-huh. song is about, obviously, body language, but what more is it about? Yeah, love, passion. <laughs> uh, and th- that is the way that you would describe it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> My body language says I'm not afraid. I'm up for sale. A Tennessee show. Now, we're in Tennessee, but I heard that a man actually set himself on fire during your show. It was in Knoxville. In Knoxville. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. happen in Memphis, at least not yet. We'll see about that because you guys are here tonight actually playing. And I also hear that in Israel, because of just the way that you guys play, just basically in your face, you guys play basically out in the crowd. You have been banned from half the live shows in Israel because of people's inappropriate reactions to you. How do you feel about that? We're not angry at anybody. We just really want to have fun. And some some people or uh, club owners find it inappropriate. So we, we just understand it's not the place to play. And that's all. We, we're not trying to be offensive in advance, you know. We're really trying to break the boundaries and, and really uh, have fun with this. So if it doesn't suit it doesn't feel it doesn't supposed to be. I mean, you see, like Israel, in terms of rock, it's not so much a place for rock. So, and this is why we are in the USA, <laughs> which is a place for rock. How do you find the the United States different from Israel as far as going out and playing these shows? Uh, United States is like it's much more wild, and uh, people are really uh, waiting for you to 
to explode and uh, and to take the rock spirit into this level of liveness and uh, and going crazy. And in Israel, it's like it's a little bit more. Uh, you know, it's I think it's a, it's a little bit a sadder place, less less happy place. You know, people express their party and rave in more electronic music or tend to be a little bit melancholic sometimes. And here in the U.S., I mean, it's like just the rocking is so natural and so in the culture that it's like a spark that sets fire. The band is typically seen as dirty, grungy, and really, really smelly by the press. And how do you <laughs> respond to this usual reaction? Uh, adequate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fluid, smell, that's part of the whole thing, no? <laughs> Your presence is you play music into the crowd, literally. You go out and you play in the crowd, playing music. Now, you play the drums. Mm -hmm, correct. And so you go out in the crowd with your bass drum. This takes mm -hmm. chutzpah. What are you thinking when you do this? Uh, I'm not thinking about anything. <laughs> so the idea is that you're actually not thinking. No. But you're playing the music. I'm just inside it and it happens. And only after it finishes, I'm kind of going, what? Like, wow, what was that? <laughs> you're in that moment playing the music. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, really a trance. A trans thing. Thank you for being our guest on Now This Interview. Uh, we've had a great time. Oh, you're welcome. I had a great time too. Thank you for interviewing us. By the record, where were you when it happened? <laughs> it's a nice one, we think. And where were you when it happened can be purchased now. It is their new release from Monotonics. Visit monotonics.com for tour dates and more information. We thank our special guest, Hi Guy from Monotonics. Until next time, this has been a special presentation of Now This Interview.